Fish River is a permanent watercourse in the central tablelands west of Sydney, New South Wales, which eventually meets Campbell's River and forms the Macquarie River. The river was named in 1813 due to the large number of fish present in its waters. Fishing is still a popular pursuit in the river and in Lake Oberon, which was created by damming the waters of the river in 1949. Near Honeysuckle Falls is an area of deep water, known since at least 1883 as the Black Hole. It was an area with many snakes, mostly tigers and browns, but that wasn't why it had a fearsome notoriety. There is said to be a ghost which haunts this spot, known as the Maid in White. She is said to appear walking on the surface of the water each Christmas, because she drowned on the eve of the holiday many, many years ago. The identity of the maiden is, like most legends of this type, uncertain. A potential candidate is a young girl reported to have drowned in the Fish River on Boxing Day 1850. Her parents had given her enough spirits to drink that she fell in while drunk and drowned. The parents themselves were so inebriated that they didn't realise their child had died until the next day. Near the black hole in the 1940s were two old deserted houses one of which was said to be the home of the girl and her family. The legend did not mention drunkenness. It says the girl went swimming alone and was not missed until she failed to return for lunch. Police using grappling irons located her body after three days search. Fishermen in the early 20th century shunned the area due to its ghostly reputation. At one end of the black hole is a large sloping rock underneath which the drowned girl was said to have become trapped. At Christmas 1948, a fisherman from Sydney stood on the rock casting his line. While there, he felt an evil influence so strongly that he couldn't stay there any longer, but returned to his camp. At the camp, he and his friends heard mysterious noises and splashing sounds. Eventually, they were all unnerved enough to move their camp further downstream, closer to the town of Oberon, even though this stretch of river was one of the best trout fishing spots available. It was only then that, while chatting with some local fishermen from Lithgow, that they became acquainted with the story of the ghost. When the story got around about the uncanny noises, some residents explained them as being made by a platypus, which was observed swimming in the river. However, some time later the platypus was found dead on a sandbar, yet the noises continued from the river every night. Others tried to explain the splashes as normal sounds of water cascading through the rocks, but the flow of the water was constant, whereas the noises were intermittent and varied in intensity. Perhaps it wasn't a ghost the anglers heard splashing the water, for the area is Yowie country. One of these Aussie Sasquatch was reported from the Fish River in the winter of 1964. Two men from Sydney, Eric Rolfe and Morris Patton, went pig shooting. They stayed in a cabin on Water Supply Road, about 12 kilometres east of the Black Hole. On the first night, Morris wanted to study the platypus living in the river, so he went down to the river on what was a very dark night, with a small torch to observe the animals. While there, he noticed something near the river, which was man-like, but hairy, which terrified him. He hastened back to the cabin and told Eric about what he saw. After he had time to calm down, both men decided to go back and check it out. Thinking it was probably some hermit who was living in the mountainous bush, they left their rifles behind, instead taking some stout tree branches for defence. Reaching the river, Morris shone his torchlight about until it fell on the creature. The Yowie was standing some 30 metres away on the opposite bank, amid some bushes. It was covered in a very dark fur, and was stooping with its arms to its sides. Yet despite this posture, this broad-shouldered figure was estimated by the men to be 2.3 metres or seven and a half feet tall. They also detected a pungent odour coming off the Yowie. After 30 seconds, the Yowie turned and fled through the bush, only the snapping of foliage being heard as it departed. The men did likewise, hurrying back to their cabin. They did not see the creature again during their stay. Eric Rolfe returned to the area several times, shooting wild goats, and although he never saw anything again, often had the feeling that something unseen in the bush was watching him. Ghosts, yowies, the black hole. Fish River seems baited to lure you into the dark corners of history.